Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to try on some lip products. These are the Artist Nude Creams from Makeup Forever. Sent me over the collection and these are like, okay, so it says intense color payoff, creamy satin finish, long lasting. It's basically like their liquid lipstick that dries matte, but this one dries satin. So there are 12 colors. It says modern nudes and so 12 modern nudes. It looks like it's designed to fit a variety of skin tones. And so I'm just gonna try them on. They're $20. They're available at Sephora. I will put the information down below, link to them. The tube is pretty much like the liquid lipstick tube, although it's skinnier and I believe a little bit longer. It's just a doe foot applicator. The smell, I, I can't smell the smell like anything too distinctive. It doesn't have a very strong scent, I can tell you that. Okay, I'm gonna start with this shade right here and this is 01 Uncovered. So they usually don't have names, but yes, these do have names, and which that's one of my issues with Makeup Forever things is they don't usually have names, but this one does. So Uncovered very like vinyl-y, almost like a lip gloss, but full opacity. Now these are long lasting, but they're not transfer proof since they do dry down to like a satin finish. They feel very creamy on your lips, almost like, like you would envision a true liquid lipstick, like just a melted down liquid form of a lipstick. These feel very comfortable on the lips. I think they have a little bit more slip than an actual lipstick. Uh, but they do feel very, very comfortable. Now I'm gonna swatch on the lips. This is the first one, and then I will do swatches on the hands so that you can see. But like I said, absolute full opacity with these. So you're really only gonna need one layer on your lips. I like this color, it's a really pretty nude. So that's number one, and it's called Uncovered. Okay, this is number three, and it's called Bluff. This looks more of like has like a little bit more taupe in it. So this is number three, Bluff. I should go in order like one, two, three, but I didn't, so. Number three, I'll have to find two. Okay, this one is number two and it's called Flesh. No, wait, yes, Flesh. I'll go in order from here on out. This one looks more of like a peachy in comparison. Like I said, these are full opacity and just like a really really nice creamy feeling I like the way that these feel I have worn one all day and it does have a long-lasting effect it does feel very comfortable on the lips I did eat with it and it did need to be reapplied but there was still a little bit like of a fade of a color on my lips not like crumbly or anything like that it fades like a regular lipstick like a regular satin lipstick would but it does stay on the lips pretty long lasting so i like this color in flesh number four is called tempt very similar but a, with more pink mauve than the second one so that's tempt as you can see they have a really nice shine to them. This color is going to be an everyday shade for me. Uh, I'm going to set this one aside for sure. This is a really perfect, like, has enough pink in it for me. Not too light nude, but I really like this shade in Tempt. Number five is Expose. This has a little bit more, I would say, toasty, a little bit more toasty warmth to it. This is a really nice warm neutral shade. Again, another one that I would gravitate towards. I like how they sort of, like they said, made a nude shade for every skin tone so that you're going to have like a perfect nude, something that flatters your skin. Number six is just called Straight Nude. And I'm going to do that one. This one has a little bit more pink than the last one does. I like this one. I would call this like a true, I wouldn't call it a true nude, like the shade is called nude, but I would call this like a what I would describe as like a true pink color. This shade is called Smolder and it's a really, really pretty, I would say just like a deeper rose shade. That bottom row, we're starting that bottom row here. So I really like this one. This is more, um, I think a lot of people gravitate towards this shade. Even if you have a little bit tanner skin, 
this would be like a really pretty perfect nude for you. Okay, this one's number eight and it's called Touch. This has a little bit more pink to it than the last shade, so that that was this one's touch right here so it has a little slight bit more pink to it than like less warmth than the last but a scale deeper probably again this is intended to be the perfect nude for someone with a little bit more medium to tan skin tone so i like this one eight in a touch i tend to go for something with a little bit more pink to it than the warmth when I'm picking out a nude, but I really like the way that this one looks on. Um, this would for sure be like a color that I would gravitate towards in the fall time. Okay, this is number nine and it's called Pure. Now, when it comes to these deeper colors, obviously, if this weren't a swatch video, I would be wearing them with a lip liner. You probably need to, if you are more fair complected, wear a lip liner with these. Because of the formula, it's so slippery, I would for sure, it's not gonna stay in place. It's not gonna like creep on you, but it's a little bit more, has a little bit more movement than like a matte dry down liquid lipstick. Do you know what I'm saying? So I would definitely use, just to clean up the borders, a lip liner. But I really like this shade. We're obviously moving into a little bit more deeper complexion um, for the perfect nude, but this is a really pretty color. Again, if you have fair complexion like I do, this is the type of color that I would wear in the fall. Okay, the last shade was more brown. This one definitely has more berry. This is called Natural, and it is just this really gorgeous, deeper sort of berry shade. So if you have a deep complexion and you prefer something with a little bit more pink to it than the previous shade, which has a little bit more warmth to it and more brown to it, this is the opposite or opposing more like pink shade to it. So I like this one. And this is number 10 in Natural. Okay, these last two shades, you're going to have one that has a little bit more warmth to it, like a little bit more brown to it, and one that's going to have a little bit more pink to it. This is number 11, um, Undraped, and I like this, but this is a really dark, deep, like rich, chocolatey brown. Okay. We are running pretty ragged here on the last lip swatch. I apologize, I tried to get it as even as possible, but for these deeper shades on a fair skin, you're gonna need a lip liner and some cleanup. This is the last shade and it is called Bare. This has a lot more berry to it, as you can see from that shade that we did right here. I don't know if I showed that one. But these last two shades, you have that more brown tone, more pink tone, more brown tone, more pink tone, more brown tone, more pink tone. That's kind of how it is in every category that I could tell. One was a little bit more brown, one was a little bit more pink that way if you sort of lean towards that neutral shade with the pink tone to it you have that option so I really like the shade selection in these and they're just really really comfortable on the lips I think Makeup Forever did an awesome job I'm gonna go ahead and put back on the color that I really loved and I'll be right back okay the shade that I put back on is number four in Tempt I think this one is just probably my perfect my perfect nude is what I would say. Between this one and number five, Exposed. These were my two favorites in, in the bunch. Um, but I really like the formula of these. They feel really comfortable on the lips. Like I said, they're a really nice addition, I think, to the line. If you like Makeup Forever's liquid lipsticks, I think you're gonna like these. Like I said, definitely not transfer proof. You're going to get transfer. They transfer just like a regular lipstick would. So this is pretty much a lipstick in a liquid form is the best way that I can describe it. The way it feels on the lips, the amount of creaminess that it has. So I just wanted to zoom in and show you the colors up close so that you could see the swatches. So here are the shades up close. So you can see they do have a decent amount of shine to them. And if you touch them, they will be tacky and they will move, but really good array of shades so that you can find your perfect nude. Again, these retail for $20. I will leave all the information down below. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches on the lips. Sorry those last few got a little bit messy, but uh, I did the best I could. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.